Hey, welcome back to Smart Depot. You asked for it and it is here. Gcam 7.2 versus Gcam 7.3, which one is better? We use the Realme X2 for Gcam 7.2 and Redmi Note 5 Pro for Gcam 7.3 run Android 10 custom ROM. So if you're new to this channel, please click on that subscribe button, please, and help us reach our goal of having many subscribers. All right, if you've done that, let's just get started. There's no better way to start than keep the user interface side by side and then check out the differences or similarities. Gcam 7.2 on the left, as we say, is running on Realme X2 and Gcam 7.3 on the right. So if you look at the interface, they look the same. The quick setting, you will notice that uh, the quick setting window is a little bit uh, longer uh, in the Gcam 7.3. I think that's a little, you know, UI, you know, thing. Uh, but we're going to go into the settings and then also go into the advanced settings. So you can see in the settings, everything looked the same. In the setting, you know, there are no radical changes in the setting. And then um, I think also we're going to check out the advanced setting. Uh, you can look at the grid type, you know, the social share, all the stuff are there. But when the, the, the changes start coming in is in the advanced setting. This is all that you have on the advanced setting in Gcam 7.3 on the right. That's just all. That's just all. You understand? That's just all. But if you go to Gcam 7.2, you have the lead patcher, the HDR enhanced, the HDR plus enhanced stream, and then the maximum brightness, a whole lot of stuff on the left. Uh, but in the advanced setting of the Gcam 7.3, there's not much you have there. So now let me explain. Uh, Gcam uh, is made for Pixel devices. So once it is spotted, uh, every Pixel device that is able to receive the new update gets everything that's added to the new update. Mind you, not all Pixel devices might be able to get some new updates, especially maybe Pixel, original Pixel, Pixel 2, and then the rest of them. So, but all the updates are always in the latest Pixel. Now, what developer does is that they now start working now, porting this thing to every other Android devices that could be able to use it or share the resources or, you know, have similar hardware and, uh, and be able to share it. So it comes stage by stage. As of February, uh, when we're recording this, February 6th, it is still on beta stage, Gcam 7.3. And then it differs from device to device. If you look at the Redmi Note 5 Pro, you will notice that little red tint, you know, but the Gcam 7.2 is not showing that uh, on, on Realme X2. So there are also little, little differences, bugs that could differ from device to device, especially when it's in the beta stages. So we're going to look at some other things and um, we're going to check out much more things that are differences. We're going to compare the pictures, the image qualities and stuff like that. And we're going to do a lot more on the night site. One of the greatest surprises is that uh, they have not ported astrophotography to Gcam 7.3 yet. So you got to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned and then we're going to keep working on it. So one of the questions that you asked in the comment section for Gcam 7.2 is that will Gcam 7.3 ever run Android 9? Of course it will. This is Android and that's why we love Android. They always make things happen because Android is open source. There's a way to check out, find the restriction. The restriction is not actually in the XML file to make it run on Android 9, but with time, developers will find the restriction and then remove it and you'll be able to use Gcam 7.3 in Android devices running Android 9. So let's clear that out. So we're going to look at the pictures. We're going to look at that. Um, the camera sensors also might have something to contribute, contribute and then the processor, the processing power. So, so mind that when you're using Gcam. So um, the one on the left on Realme X2, which have uh, Samsung GW1, a 64 megapixel on the left and then the one on the right you could see there's a difference you know <laughs> there's a difference between the two okay so let's move on next we're going to move into the picture comparison you saw me take some pictures with it in the past so we're going to keep them side by side so we measure it and just see either gcam 7.3 is better or gcam 7.2 i'll just want you to judge for yourself but mind you, there might be some advantage on better sensors running Gcam. Of course, you can see a little difference here also in the video recording. There is no yet 24 FPS. It's just a select 30 frame and 60 frame per second 
what is here. So let's move to the pictures. As I say, the left is GCAM 7.2 and the right is GCAM 7.3. So uh, it's actually running on a lower, or the, on an older device that is running Android 10. There's another picture. This one was done with night sight. So GCAM 7.2 on the left, GCAM 7.3 on the right. So I want you to be the judge for yourself. So you look at it, you judge. Now this is low light picture inside the house. Uh, so GCAM 7.2 on the left and then GCAM 7.3 on the right. So you're going to be the judge. <laughs> I'm just going to be showing you the sample pictures. I'm going to do the conclusion. Now the camera flash power in Realme X2 is lower than third party apps. I don't know why. It's only the stock Realme app that can use the full camera power. As you can see, the, the Redmi Note 5 Pro has a better camera. But when you go back to the Realme, X2 stock camera app, it uses the full power of the camera. I really don't know why they did that anyway. But that's how it is in that. So we're going to look at another picture and then we're going to conclude ourselves. So this is the night mode in pure darkness. But one of the things that actually made me not to compare much because there are not just no features, there is no astrophotography. So I popped up a little astrophotography on the Realme X2 running GCAM 7.2 and you can see the night and day difference between the two uh, because the 7.3 does not have astrophotography. So let's conclude. What is the conclusion here? What is the conclusion? Well, it's still a beta state GCAM 7.3. Uh, if you're not using GCAM 7.3 now, I don't think you're missing much. If you're using GCAM 7.2, yes, there are still other things that I even added to GCAM 7.2 that is great. So uh, subscribe to the channel because we're going to keep doing an update on this to give you the best and the best update or whatever that happens once GCAM 7.3 has moved into stable and other features being ported back to it and other stuff like that. So that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Subscribe. I'll see you.